Welcome to the Single Phase Borehole Motor Test and Connection Guide. In this video, we will walk you through the step-by-step -step process of testing and connecting your single phase borehole motor to your pump system. Connecting your motor correctly prevents damage to the windings due to incorrect connections. These tests should always be conducted before and after any cable joint is made. Note that the following tests should only be conducted by qualified personnel Step 1. Prepare a clean, non-conductive surface to conduct the tests. Prepare a notepad to write down the measured values. Step 2. Prepare the motor wires before measurement. Start by twisting all the motor wires together for a few seconds to discharge any possible static charge in the motor. Next, set your multimeter on a low ohm scale capable of measuring up to 100 ohm resistances. Step 3. Take measurements between the different wires and write down all the readings obtained. There should be six different readings in total. Step 4. Determine which wire is the earth wire. There should be three of the six readings that are open line. The wire that is present in all open line readings is the earth wire. Confirm this by taking a measurement between this wire and the motor casing. The reading should be close to zero ohm. This confirms a good connection between the earth wire and the motor casing. Step 5. The three readings left are now used to determine the common, running, and starting wires. If the two lowest readings are added together, then a value that is the same or higher than the highest reading should be obtained. The difference would be greater for longer cable lengths. Note the wire that is present in both of the two lowest readings. This is the common wire. Note the other wire present in the lowest reading. This is the running wire. Note the other wire present in the second lowest reading. This is the starting wire. Step 6. Using an insulation resistance tester, measure the insulation resistance at 500 volts with the black lead connected to the earth wire and the red lead connected to the common, running, and starting wires respectively. The reading should be higher than 1 mega ohm to be acceptable, but in practice, an open line reading should be obtained. Step 7. Connect the four motor wires according to the diagram on the control unit to ensure proper operation of the motor. Please note that each wire has a designated connection terminal and no wires may be switched around under any circumstances. Remember to connect your capacitor to your borehole motor controller. Full video link on how to do this is available in the description below. Thank you for watching our video tutorial. Please feel free to reach out if you have any further questions about this process.